Hi, John Balvano here, and I'd like to show you the logic analyzer, how it applies to this class. Now, if you've got three, four hundred dollars, you can buy yourself a real logic analyzer, like the Analog Discovery 2, um, and use it to do all sorts of things. Now, we don't have this one, uh, but we do have something similar to it. And what a logic analyzer is, is a measurement of digital values as a function of time. And so we're going to have multiple digital signals here that we can select and measure them as a function of time. Okay, that's the essence of a logic analyzer. And we're going to see two logic analyzers in EE319K. The first is the one you've probably already seen it in simulation. And so what I want to do is run uh, the starter code on lab four um, and show you how to set up the Kyle logic analyzer uh, to measure the inputs and outputs as they're collected. All right, so let me go over to Kyle and show you that logic analyzer. Okay, uh, I'm in the simulation debugging of Kyle, and I'm interested in looking at parameters, inputs and outputs. So I'm going to call setup, and in setup, I'm going to click right there and insert a new parameter. So in this particular lab, uh, we're interested in port F uh, bit 3. And uh, to make it look digital, we're going to change this from analog to bit. We're also interested in the input parameter, which is port A.1, okay, or dot two, I'm sorry, that's the right one. It's going to be a bit, okay. And then one more, I'm interested in port B. And now in this case, what I'm going to do is set this guy up to be a state, okay. So I don't want to right shift it. I do want to mask it with a zero. And I'm going to set it up to be a state. So what this is going to do is measure port B, don't shift it, and it with F, and output it as a state. Okay, and that's going to in this particular case that's going to be the state of my logic analyzer. So I press the go, and then uh, the the way this works, if I push a button, uh, then I can zoom out. I'm scrolling. Uh, go ahead and stop this so I can see where it went. Okay. And so uh, what you have here is the input and output as a function of each other. Okay, So that is the uh, simulated logic analyzer where you set up pins either as bits or states and you look at them as a function of time. And so I can do things like uh, set the cursor and click here and scroll over to there and measure the time 75 milliseconds. All right, let me do the same thing on the real board, okay? All right, let me show you how to run the logic analyzer on the Texas display. Now, this is the real board, and you can see I'm calling Texas init, and I'm passing in this function. And let's go ahead and look at what that function is, okay? This is a function which will take five bits. It'll take the input PA2, it'll take your heartbeat PA3, and it will take the bottom four bits of PB and send them to the PC. And so it will read those five bits, shift them around so they're all one five-bit number, and then send them out the universal serial transmitter, uh, which goes to your PC, and then Texas Display will plot them. And that goes out uh, 10,000 times per second. Now, we've set up these uh, these logic analyzer initialization functions for you. Uh, you don't have to write this code. You just have to call it with the appropriate initialization, the appropriate parameter. Okay, so uh, we're going to download it to the board. And then we're going to uh, debug it, uh, which we got to start the function. And so the function is now running. And so now what I want to do is open up Texas Display. So within Texas Display, I'm going to open up the serial port. And now on this particular machine, it happens to be COM port 45. And yours will be different for sure. Okay, so now what I want to do is set the logic analyzer, which is that one. I'm going to set the, the, the mode to logic analyzer. And there it is, the five bits uh, which represent my um, um, out, four output bits, 
uh, the uh, toggled bit and the input bit. And so let me zoom out. And that's a control. Uh, that's a, you can see that's going to be a F6. So if I execute an F6, uh, the display gets um, gets uh, slower in time, and I can see more information. Okay. So again, a logic analyzer uh, measures digital values as a function of time. And you can set up on Texas up to seven bits. Here it shows you six of them. Uh, and if I push the button, you can see that the button is being pushed. Here I'm pushing the button. Okay, So you can see the input uh, change. All right. So in summary, a logic analyzer measures digital values as a function of time. Okay, and so when you run it on the real board, you'll see that there's a function which can output up to seven bits to your PC for plotting with Texas Display uh, at 10,000 um, uh, cents per minute, per second. All right, enjoy.